Alright everybody, welcome back. I'll do one more episode tonight. It's already one in the morning. <laughs> uh, so let's uh I guess go drop off the drugs. Which way did we come in from? We I know we walked around Yeah, there's the observatory, so I guess we were Tower up there. Oh, these the traps he was talking about. Dried up river. Oh, that's a big one. That's a giant one. Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons standing on their own. I hope you're not that pile of blood. <laughs> to Emma. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, careful! Okay, is that my character that's saying that, or is Mike actually alive? Where'd that other spear go? Hey Mike, I know you're trapped at the bottom of a cave, but uh, do you want this drugs? Do you want these drugs you paid for? Actually, I'm here to collect the pay. <laughs> Hope you got that hundred caps on you. Oh. <laughs> is, is now a good time? I was uh, just trying to make a delivery. Thank God. Another human. I thought I was going to die out here. Uh, I have a package for you from Black Dog. Are you fucking kidding me? Shit, I heard some talk about the mailman, but shit. <laughs> yeah, um, if you want an escort out, it's like another 900 caps. <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here? Hunting Yaogwai, but, well, I didn't know there would be this many. Hey, you think you could do me a favor and lead me to the exit? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. I owe you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Honestly, didn't think you'd be alive. Man, you got thunder in this cave? Or was that a cave-in? Can we 
get back up this. This entire time, I thought it was caved in. Yeah, how the hell did you get? I got console commands on mic. Uh, creek on. Yeah, that was the floating skeletons. I owe you, man. Here, a little something extra for you. I don't need it. If you ever need a good meal, feel free to come by my shack. Okay. I'll take you up on that. south till we get to this road. Yeah. This, this uh, probably leads to it. Nailed that jump. They say the fiends are defeated, but I'm sticking close to the army just in case. They say the fiends Our are defeated, guys put the but I'm sticking to close to the army just in case. I'll do it up here. Well, I hope you didn't need any of these supplies. Twenty-seven hour situation on our hands here. I, find you, I can't even. Sweet. Oh boy, that's actually just a canon ending. Um, you fall in a crevice and you can't fast travel because there's enemies nearby. And that's just how the game ends. It's kind of one of those secret endings they don't tell you about. There you are. You thought you could hide from me? Ugh. I thought I was hiding. As long as y'all don't pull out the fucking... Uh -huh. I'm gonna make you scream. Backpack. Check that out. Medical backpack. Okay. Nice. 
Fuck it. I'll wear a backpack. Wait a minute. Does this take away... Eh, AP minus five. Who cares? We got plenty. into a bus. Um, oh, jeez. Follow this road, and that should be uh, Jean's diner up the way. Oh, death claws, eh? Count me in. <laughs> Jean Bronze Burger Joint. Oh shit, is this actually open? Welcome. Welcome to Jean Bronze, Jean home Bronze. of the great burgers north, west, south, and east of nowhere. <laughs> nice. Now, I bet you're here because you've heard about the juiciest burgers out in the canyon lands. Is that right? I didn't even know y'all were open. Uh, you got here by yourself? Me and my wife. She works down in the kitchen tending to the beef. I'm up here to tend to the customers. Uh, how are you able to sustain a business out here? Diligence, my friend. Any ruffians that get too close, meet the right end of my rifle. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I can spot the good ones from the bad. Alright. Uh... Me and my wife wanted a nice little place to tend to the customers far and wide. Luckily, I got just that. Let's see what you got. Here. First meal's on the house. It's my wife's special. Oh, nice. Infamous steak burger. What would you... What else you got? Chitlins? What's a chitlin? You had zero cap, so I'm kind of worried about your business. Chitlins. Alright. Okay, so... Balthazar said he left something here. Is it buried, or...? Trunk under a bridge. Oh. here. Expensive vodka. Just 
curious, how much does expensive vodka sell for? <laughs> Alright. It's worth more than some guns. Must be some pretty good vodka. I like that uh, Icelandic one. It's like uh, Reka or something. It's the one that's filtered with volcano rocks. It's not too expensive. It's like 20 bucks a bottle. I think. Alright, well. Let's see if there's anything else here before we leave. Just leads to the canyon lands. Hey, how does it lead to the canyon lands? We're already outside. Better not be uh, cut up corpses down here. Oh, yeah, no, they're cannibals. Okay. Those chitlins I ate might be people. Oh, fingers. Delicious. Have you ever seen this many fingers? Take a screenshot of that. Some Someone gave you a finger, so you took it. That was kind of them. using my ball. Recipe, steak burger. Big horn or meat, yeast, human flesh, mutilated leg. Nice. <laughs> it's day 30 of the hottest season. Oh boy, is dear Martha feeling that heat. Shame I have to keep her cooped up in the cellar all day. But she damn near scared one of the customers away. Never get any people coming by these days, just those damn raiders, and all they're good for is meat. Some folk will come by from will come by for me that are with them fellows, but they don't think I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, they just keep looking even when I serve it to them. It's what they deserve, frankly. Yeah, it's all good with the 80s, even though they eat for free so that I don't get in any trouble or anything like that. Only real issue these days besides the death clause are those people the radio's been calling Caesar's Legion. Sounds like a bunch of anti-American weirdos. If they come through and clean up all my sheep, then it's going to be real hard to serve any new customers that come by. Not that I ever get any new customers, just regulars. Hell, the, the only one of them that isn't a raider is that goofy kid who lives up on the hill. I mean... I don't get any, many caps from him, but he's got some good supplies that come through. I wonder what the hell that kid does up there. New customer today was just another one of those raider types. I was surprised he was so civil. He was one of them ghoul types, real friendly. He was chatting about setting up hideaways in the, in the cave networks throughout the canyon. Gotta have some real balls if you want to do something like that. The way those death claws have been so prominent, you might wander into a cave to find one of them. Guy actually paid for the meal. Real odd one. Had to whip up a burger so fast I forgot to clean the meat. Usually just cut them and grind them up to pieces so that I can pick off the bits of bone or clothes later. But today there was some hair on the meal. I whipped up with some hair on the meal I whipped up. He gave me a funny look but then came to the conclusion that it was his. Guess that makes sense. He's a ghoul and 
all. Still surprised the eighties would recruit this. Re still surprised the eighties would recruit this kind. Legion's been getting closer and closer. Heard rumors that they've been spotted out by the bus repair yard, and even in Drammerville. Any closer, and I'm gonna have to find a new place to set up shop. Maybe Salt Lake. No, I heard the Brotherhood was stronger over there. Why does every place have to have these big governments that try to tell you what you can and cannot eat? It's disgusting. That's what it is. Hard to find people who are willing to accept good old-fashioned cooking. Plus, it'd be hard to move my wife, given her condition, the petite little thing. Is his wife down here? Did we just miss her? I say as she like crawls on the floor and over to me. That's what he meant by petite. <laughs> Mrs. Braun. Who are you? Now, I wonder if, if you tried to buy a cage like this, like of this size, capable of fitting a, a human being in it, would you get put on some sort of watch list? I don't know. Is there a cannibal watch list? If you work for uh, the FBI, let me know. Is there a cannibal watch list? Cannibal registry. I feel like I'd be very rude to them just because I'd be asking so many questions. Welcome back. Is there anything I can cook you up? Uh, I'll take some fingers. <laughs> All right. I think we got everything we need. Head back. All right. What's up, Phoenix? Yeah. What do you want? Nothing. Take a dino toy. A lunchbox. I'm tired of those damn junkies taking up space in the courtyard. Doug already leave? Hey. You ever listen to the radio? Those guys really stink. Wish we had another channel out here, but for some reason can't change it on the jukebox. Yeah, you need a mod for that. Uh, paying off the debt for Antonia and Giovanni. Really? I'm gonna be real with you. I wasn't expecting their debt to ever get paid off. There's no way they'd ever scrape together the caps. Yeah. I was actually kicking around the idea of just taking all four of them out into the desert one night and offing them. Never got around to it, though. <laughs> Between the chems and the price of accommodations, 
The total debt is 750 caps. Are they still worth it? Because if not, there's always plan B. Hold on, why did he need 3,000 then? Well, I'm not giving you three grand if it's not that much. Here's 750. Mm, two, three, four. Yeah, it's all here. They're free to go. But let them know that they're free to come back and try some more of our chems. <laughs> yeah. But just make sure that they know that they gotta pay this time. We don't hand out free samples, you know. Uh, are you a marked man? I don't think I've ever seen one outside the divide. Oh, no. I'm not one of those guys. It's just that... I have really sensitive skin, and the desert winds can be brutal. Well, I had sensitive skin. Uh, well, see ya. Beep. What? I was walking by Dirge's room the other day. Sounds like something died in there. Fucking freak. Hello. Uh, still having trouble with the bed. Oh, you again. It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, good to go. That's... That's fantastic news! Giovanni, did you hear that? We can finally leave! Though... Where will we go? What is Balthazar planning? Uh, he wants to take... Wait, he wants you to take your family at... He said that he wants you to take your family at... Alright, and meet him at Honest Heart Cave. Well, I suppose it's the best option we have now. We've heard that there's a passage out of the canyon lands there. He must be planning on leaving. That's where I came in through. We should be able to make it there safely. Giovanni and I have lived in the wastes long enough to learn how to avoid trouble. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, bye then. Uh, do you need me to get like Jaws of Life here to get you out of the? I wish they wouldn't let those kids just wander around the compound. Who's the one we go see now? Honest heart key. Oh. Okay. I heard the last. Very well. Balthazar. I missed the uh, thing. What is this? Honest Heart Space and Sewage Disposal.
glad you didn't get killed by uh, scorpions this time. I knew in my heart that you'd return. Speak your mind, my fellow. I uh, paid for the family's freedom. What's next? Did anybody ever tell you how helpful you are? Because you are certainly the most helpful person I've ever met. I've got one last task. What's up? Now, you may have noticed two things already. One, Giovanni isn't here. It's not because he died on the way here, though. As I had expected. Wait, what? You'll also notice that you and I are speaking far out of earshot of Antonia. Because she cannot know what I am about to tell you. Uh... Giovanni is a danger to her family. He's the one who introduced Antonia to drugs all the way back when they first met in the wastes. He convinced Antonia to leave me and take the family to the compound under the guise that it would be safer there. Hmm, the fool. I'm convinced that he wasn't interested in her safety, but instead to Black Dog's chems. He has become nothing but menace to Antonia's pride future. I sent him to a small house in Springdale because the former owner had a collection of bottle caps which would help us on our travels to New Reno. Wait, what? That was clearly a ruse to separate Giovanni from the family. I need you to go to that house and put him down. Trust me, it's the only way. I'll tell Antonia that he was murdered by a raider and that you're the one who found his body. There will be much grief, yes. But I will wipe away their tears, and I will take Giovanni's place as Antonia's rightful lover. Okay, you see, that's where it gets a little weird. Uh, yeah, if he's killed, the grief uh, it causes her will make traveling difficult. Hmm. True, true. Antonia has tricked herself into believing she's in love with this man, and has some despair would very much hurt her. Time heals these wounds, however, though it'll be hard to fight grief and wander the wastes. I see your point. All right, it's decided. I'll wait until we have settled down on stable ground before I do away with Giovanni. For now, I guess we're off. Well, hold on, though. No, I... We'll stay here for a while, and then we're off on a new adventure. And I can't thank you enough for the things you've done for us. Just noble deeds deserve rewards. Here you go. My prized rifle, Mercutio. Truly a weapon of legend. Take it and vanquish all foes. Hopefully we meet again either on this world or in the next. That said, it must be to do. Mer... I, I don't... I think I feel very comfortable with you. It, like, her kids are with her. They're just gonna murder their dad? I... I don't know if we made the right choice there. Um... It's 4570. Ooh, it's got a scope. Ooh, it's a revolver carbine? With no mods? Nice. Well, oh, what? It's a little bit odd. I don't think it's supposed to do that, but... Uh, should I reload an old save? You know, he's probably right. And he seems capable. Maybe. I don't know. I have not been a very good judge of character lately. <laughs> I ate the cannibals burgers or, or the chitlins, whatever the hell those are. I, uh. I 
actually I haven't made that many mistakes, but alright. Well, I think uh, that wraps up this episode. Um, what are we going to do next? Oh, well, I guess we got to finish that. Uh, missing soldiers. Checking the traps. Caravan. I want to do that one, definitely. And Saracath. Okay. Alright. Sounds like we got a... Uh, couple of episodes cut out already for us so I'm gonna stop here I hope y'all enjoyed and have a great well two in the morning uh, great morning I guess see you later